Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain, another Mega Constructs breaking news edition. You know, this is another set that it's been leaked and teased for a while, but I wanted to wait until Mega Constructs actually released their own product imagery of this before I talked about it, and now we can finally discuss this brand new helmet. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Frosty848. He supplied me with all the images of this set. You are the man. Go follow him on Twitter. So let me backtread for a minute and discuss the helmets already released so far. Mega Constructs a few months ago revealed these beautiful micro helmets, and they are just absolutely gorgeous. I fell in love with them immediately. I was surprised just how small they are. Like, these helmets are tiny. They look a tiny bit squished down, but I think they just work on so many levels, and they are celebrating different levels from Halo multiplayer, which is something that I've always said Mega Constructs needs to do so much more of, celebrating the different multiplayer and campaign levels of Halo. The thing that surprised me at first with these helmets and a lot of other people is the colors are a little bit strange. Obviously, we have a Master Chief green and a blue makes sense, but then a yellow helmet as well. Very odd. This yellow helmet in particular, such a strange choice with a black visor. To be clear, I absolutely loved it. It's my favorite one, but I just think the color choice is so strange and everybody was saying, where's the red helmet? Where's red versus blue? You know, that's, that's the thing. That's the halo thing. I was just, to be honest, very happy with this yellow and black visor. I just think it's such a great design idea. Everybody else, you know, everybody else was wondering where, where's this red helmet? And they just revealed the escape helmet. And this is strange on so many different levels. For a start, there is no escape game mode in Halo. And second of all, there's some very weird plants in this scene. Hint, hint, the flood. So let's break it down bit by bit. Revealed on Mega Constructs official Twitter, it says, can you make a daring escape? Inspired by the favorite multiplayer play a game mode, the favorite, See, that's off the bat, that is a very strange choice of words considering there is no game mode. So that's got me confused from the get-go. But inspired by the favorite multiplayer game mode, this set features a Spartan Anubis and a Spartan Hermes. Yes, we've got that Kelly helmet back again. It looks beautiful. A barrier and an extraction site. Gear up Spartan and get in the game. Obviously, people are very confused. I see Ian from Halo Cannon immediately saying, I'm thinking Escape is a new game mode for Halo Infinite. It kinda must be. Escape mode must be some kind of new multiplayer experience on Halo Infinite, which I am just so on board with. I love the idea of escaping to an evac site. It just looks like such a great idea. So we've got a barrier. First of all, I like this barrier a lot. It's really nice to get any new set pieces, particularly barriers, because we don't get enough set pieces in Mega Constructs. I'll say it in every video if I need to. This one actually looks really great. It's kind of like a shrapnel, kind of jagged, banished-esque idea to it. It's got some very uh, bare pieces on the side, but I'm sure you could flesh that out very easily. And then we've got this weird module thing that maybe that's what you need to take to extraction. It's very strange. Maybe you need to pick up that green gem, carry it on your back, kind of like the AI core from Halo Reach, and then take it to this, like, extraction zone. Or maybe that's a beacon that you need to, like, light to get extracted. I mean, they specifically say extraction site and escape, so it must be somehow you've got to escape this battle. I also noticed that the colors are very, like, free-for-all colors. They're the armor coating from Halo Infinite, so maybe this is a free-for-all game mode. It's the first to be extracted from their own base. Maybe you're all dropped in the center, and then you all have to run to a particular point on the map while trying to kill each other, preventing each other from getting there. Maybe you all have to get to the same point, and it's the first one to touch the beacon and be extracted out first. I, uh, some pretty good ideas. I just imagined in my mind reusing this footage if I, it turns out I'm right. There is also one more piece of the diorama that is very strange range, these actual flood tentacles shooting out of the ground. You know me, I'm a particular hype man for the flood. Usually I don't like to stir the pot, but anytime I think that the flood might be returning, I'm all about it. Like, these are pieces that Mega Constructs have already owned, and Mega Constructs, they're always very creative with the pieces they use, so I wouldn't say this confirms the flood at all. Maybe though, if it's called escape, maybe you need to escape the flood. I mean, let's talk about it. So the two Spartans are in free-for-all configuration, random armor colors, they might be 
trying to escape the flood and you might get points for being the first person to escape the flood. It might actually be like a point-based system, the order of people that can touch the point, or if you get infected, you get no points. And obviously the flood would get points as well. This might be a whole new spin on the infection game mode. And goodness me, I'd be all about that. If they did have flood in the game, they would reveal it at E3 in a big way. So this might be Mega Construct starting to ramp up the pressure and they might have always planned to reveal all four of these helmets, but they might have delayed this one. I think they definitely did delay this one because it had a spoiler name, the escape game mode. That is a spoiler in itself. It's not a game mode we already know about. So they might have been told to delay it close until the release of E3 and all that halo goodness that is coming with it. And maybe they've chosen not to include a flood combat form to avoid spoilers. Maybe they just really wanted to. Maybe this is just <laughs> 343 telling them to just hold up for a second. But this is clearly teasing a lot of things. I would love if this was an exciting flood escape mode where it's not actually about killing the flood, it's just about escaping them. So that is all of the speculation done for that. It's also a really nice red helmet with a bronze visor. It'll just match this one perfectly. They're gonna be buddies, they're gonna be absolute teammates or enemies, I guess, they're the opposite teams. Then we're gonna talk about the Spartans. They are actually quite strange and they've got very odd armor configurations. We'll start with the Anubis. This closely reminds me of the Series 12 Halo Hero Spartan Mark 7. That really cool sort of dark armor plating, but then popping yellow or red colors, sort of very heavily contrasting and like lighting up inside the figure. And then we've also got the Spartan Hermes, the beautiful return of Kelly. She looks like she's exactly out of Halo Shadows of Reach. The armor looks amazing, but it's not all Spartan Kelly's armor, which is the strange thing. It's only actually the Hermes helmet and the rest of it is a male torso with Mark 7 pieces. So it's really just the Hermes helmet versus the entire configuration, which is a bit odd. And then the Spartan Anubis's armor, it's an Anubis helmet, but then it's a female chest and he's got the shoulders from the Master Chief from the package from Halo Hero Series 1. Now that is a strange choice. But all in all, these figures look fantastic. I'm not really complaining at all. They're both perfect additions to my army. I love the stealth art mixed with yellow highlights. I love the Hermes helmet mixed with other armors and the amount of color details in that Hermes is also exceptional. Please do let me know in the comments what you think of this reveal. Would you buy this set and have you already got some of the helmets so far? Which is your favorite? Please do like this video if you enjoyed what you see, guys. It really helps me keep up with these news videos. I'm really enjoying them so far. And yeah, in general, I'm very excited about this set. I'm really hyped for what the future of escape game modes might hold. I really hope it's some kind of cool free-for-all or maybe a free-for-all escape from the flood. You're not here to kill them. You've just got to get to the evac site. That sounds like a dope idea. Thanks so much for the support on the video. You stay awesome, you stay safe. And another shout out to Frosty Ape for supplying these images. You are the man. Everybody go follow him on Twitter. And the last man standing helmet is signing off.